Hello my buddies, welcome to Capture Hood Recaps. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more interesting recaps. Let's dive into world of entertainment. Just imagine that you board a flight and it goes straight to 1940. Something like this happens in our today's story. The story begins one beautiful day when a flight named plane IA-42 was going from the city of Dallas to London. Its pilots were William and Daniel. At first everything was fine, but suddenly after some time there was a slight disturbance in the machines of the flight captain William spoke to ground control and asked for help, but he told that the sky was very clear, so they should keep moving comfortably. He saw a huge tornado coming towards him. When he spoke to ground control, he said that this tornado did not exist until five seconds ago. Now he had no other choice but to cross this tornado and overtake. So William told the passengers to sit on the tremendous turbulator chairs in the plane with seat belts tied as soon as their plane whirlwind when I entered, the plane started shaking very loudly and suddenly the sky was lit up from all around. Well, in a few moments the storm was left behind and everything was completely fine but the pilots saw that the sky was completely dark as if it was night time but soon everyone saw that there was no signal in anyone's phone or laptop. While in the cockpit most of the machines of the flight were damaged and William was not able to contact ground control by doing anything. Well, the radar and all the engines of the plane were working fine, so the pilot started the flight in London. When the air hostess named Cameron talked to two passengers, it was found that they were historians who were going to London to research things found during the war, along with an old man who was there. Writing about everything happening in his diary, now William thought of turning the plane back, but even after turning, he could not recognize this location, then suddenly he saw something on the radar and he thought that maybe it was another storm. But the truth was even more terrifying, as it was actually some fighter planes that hit a city. When the passengers saw the explosions happening below, everyone was very scared, as well as the historians noticed some things that were quite serious. Here the pilots did not understand anything that suddenly some fighter planes hit their plane. They were about to attack them that with the help of pilot radar immediately turned the plane from there and took it away from the fighter planes. The nervousness of all the passengers inside was increasing, so Kim tried to calm them down. Here William was repeatedly trying to talk to ground control but to no avail, so he took the plane down a little. At first Daniel stopped him because he could be attacked again, but William said that how long will the brothers fly? The fuel is also going to run out at that time. The historians told Cameron that perhaps he knew something, so Cameron brought him to the pilot, but a passenger named Michael from behind heard all their talk. The historians told the pilots that the fighter planes they saw were not made after 1945. In fact, those fighter jets were from Hitler's Air Force, but William did not believe them and he when the historians said that the signals of his plane would not work in 1940, William was a little sure that maybe it was telling the truth. According to historians, now his plane came in the year 1940. And now he is trapped in the time of the Second World War. If he has come here because of some glitch in time, then the same glitch can also take him back. Hearing the talk of time travel from his mouth, William felt that he had gone mad. So William sent him back to his seat and said that brother someone should not do this useless Michael also immediately went to his seat and started listening to the two historians secretly and was trying to find out the truth from his books and accounts. After some time, the pilot again lowered the plane in search of radio signals. Fortunately, this time he succeeded and he was contacted by a British soldier named Niger when the pilots talked to Nigel. He thought that he was a spy who might be masquerading with him because it is impossible to catch a radio signal so high in the sky with the technology of that time. Now how would they explain to Niger that they have come from the future? But then the historians came back and talked to Niger, they calculated that at this time the place. Where the British ship Launcestra sank, Niger was surprised to hear this because the ship had not yet sunk. Well Niger decided to get information about the ship from his officers and if the ship sinking turned out to be true, then he would call again. On the other hand, Michael had also come to know the truth that he had come in 1940, so suddenly he would tell all the passengers telling the truth, he started saying that they should kill Hitler together so that the world war will end. Prematurely and many lives will also be saved, most people did not believe him. 
But some people said that they should take over the cockpit together. Fortunately, there were two American soldiers on this flight who told everyone that capturing the cockpit would be considered a terrorist attack. On this, a little scuffle started between the two groups, but soon the soldiers beat everyone and made them sit comfortably. The matter turned out to be true, and thanks to this information, he was able to save many people alive. Now Nasal was ready to help his ship land, but for this, he knew their exact location. But the exact location was not known to the pilots, so they turned on the light of their plane so that the British soldiers could easily see them, but at the same time. The German soldiers were also secretly listening to them and soon their fighter planes surrounded the plane again. Now William once again turned off the light and turned his plane in such a way that he could avoid firing. When the firing increased too much, William suddenly dropped the plane downwards and flew it back up shortly before hitting the ground. The old planes could not match this plane and they all crashed on the ground, but two of them were still left and seeing the opportunity, they started firing on the cockpit. Suddenly Daniel was shot, but William somehow brought the plane away from them. After which the air hostesses together bandaged Daniel's wound, William feared that the fuel would run out soon at the same time there were bullets on his landing tires and he was not able to talk to Niger properly while Niger officials said that if the pilots of this plane did not reveal their location soon, then the British. The Air Force will blow them up now. William went to meet the passengers by giving control to Daniel and he told them the whole truth. He said that he is trying his best to land, but due to the attack, the wheels of the landing have been damaged and they need help to fix them. Then engineers named Teresa and Hector came to help. William came to help them on the plane took it to the last part of the car where Teresa found the fault and fixed it, but even after this, the wheels were not coming down, then Hector took the risk and got down and with the help of a hammer, he opened the landing wheels now. Hector held the wheel with full force so that it does not fall from the air pressure. Finally, the wheels went up again and Hector came inside the plane. Then William immediately went to the cockpit and with the help of Daniel, he tried to connect to the radio signal. When he contacted Niger, he explained to him that he had only 80 minutes of fuel left. He would have to land as soon as possible, but suddenly those two German planes came near his plane again. This time he attacked with a missile, which broke the windows of the plane in the whole plane. There was chaos, but William again caused the two German planes to collide with each other by performing many dangerous stunts, after which those historians thought of an idea. They said that they should remove the radar of the plane and bring it to Niger, with the help of which it would be able to land them in a safe place, so that this problem can be solved. But then suddenly a missile hit the turbine of the plane and the plane started falling down at full speed. The pilots tried their best and then in some time the turbine worked again. Then she quickly decided to throw the radar on the ground by talking to Niger. Then it is revealed that this missile was actually fired by the British Army. Then Niger stopped the attack and asked the officers to bring the radar. On the other hand, all the people in the plane tied the radar in a cloth and tied it with a parachute. After that, when the right time came, they threw the parachute down and informed Niger. But unfortunately, the Nazis overheard this conversation and they reached before. Taking the radar, a German soldier climbed the tree and was about to reach the radar when suddenly the British soldiers opened fire and killed him. Finally, the radar was in their possession, but at the same time, the Nazis sent more fighter planes behind the plane and attacked a part of the plane with a missile. This caused a hole in the plane and many people flew out and fell out. But once again, William saved the plane by doing tremendous stunts. Then Niger contacted them and told them the way, but then the plane from again they came to attack. But this time, some British aircraft came and confronted the Nazis. Suddenly, Niger saw a big shadow on the radar which was not like a plane and when the plane moved in their direction they would know it was exactly the tornado that brought him into this world now his fuel was also on the verge of running out so william took the risk and drove the plane straight into the tornado he said goodbye to niger and suddenly the plane started shaking very loudly after a few moments, when the light came on, he saw that he had finally returned to the present. At this time, he was in Berlin. They were flying, and soon the ground control there cleared the runway for them in the last moments of running. Out of fuel, the pilots landed the plane, finally returning home.
In the end, the only man left was the old man who was still writing something in his book. His book had a map of the route he had taken to return and the book was called Radar Systems That Saved Europe. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more interesting recaps.